Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Convention Center, and we're here to take a look at the D.C. Auto Show. This is one of the largest auto shows in the nation, and it's one of the biggest events to visit the convention center. It happens every single year, and we're gonna take a look around to show you exactly what it has to offer. There are cars from every single major auto manufacturer within the United States, so there's lots of stuff to look at, and we're gonna take you all around to show you exactly what you can expect. Now, the car show is a lot of things, but free is not one of them. So if you're gonna be here, expect to pay around $15 for an adult. If you're here during the weekends, it's gonna be one or $2 extra. But in my opinion, the absolute best time to visit is going to be on a weekday. And that's because it's not gonna be anything nearly as crowded as what you see here today. We are here on a Sunday, and this is about as crowded as you'll see it. It's probably a little bit more crowded on Friday and Saturdays, but there's a lot of people around and not really a lot of opportunity to get in the cars because you kind of have to wait in line because there's so many people. A feature I think you'll like about the convention center is that practically every single car is available for you to go inside and take a look around. Now, you will see a few exceptions right here that are behind a barrier, and I think the reason why they do this is to make the car seem more exclusive, but I think it's just a waste of time. People want to go in the car and experience it, but for the most part, most all the cars you see, you can go in, uh, take a look around, touch, feel, explore, and they have stickers on them that tell you exactly how much the car is. Uh, they're asking the asking price of the car, the gas mileage, and a few other features. So it really is, um, you know, designed for you to touch, feel, explore, and I think you'll really enjoy that aspect about the car show. Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I specialize in fun and interesting things for individuals and families to do in the DC metro area. And the car show is just one of many things that are featured on my channel. So if you're looking for something fun to do, please check out my channel for a lot of great ideas. With the exception of a few futuristic cars like these here that are on display, almost every car is practical and available for you to purchase. Now you'll find simulations at the car show and all of these simulations are free. They cost nothing. The only thing it will cost is your time because most of these have extremely long lines and you'll have to wait in line for them. If you're here on the weekend, you can expect to wait about maybe 45 minutes to get into one of these simulations. However, if you're here on the weekdays, the line is practically non-existent. So definitely another reason to come during the weekday. Every single car manufacturer here wants to sell you their car. Uh, this right here is Subaru. Subaru felt that by having a puppy here, it would attract the kids and the adults and kind of shows that their cars are designed for the great outdoors. Uh, but every single manufacturer here wants to get you behind the wheel of their car and buy a car. This right here is a demonstration and you'll find them periodically where they'll talk about the special features of their car. Now we're gonna eavesdrop and listen to this demonstration to see exactly what they're saying. But remember, they're all about selling you a car. Let's hear what he has to say. Wireless charging. You can actually get a moon roof up here that actually has a solar panel that will actually help charge your car and then also keep the temperature nice if it's not, it gets hot here in DC. So a ton of cool features for this. We're really excited about it. Your next question is price. I don't have price for it yet, but I can tell you when it comes out. If you're intrigued and you want to find out a lot more about the cars, there are sales reps, or I would say information reps, that are on the floor to tell you about the cars and what makes their car unique and different from others in that car class. The car show is so large that it takes up two floors of the convention center, and now we're downstairs, and this is an overview of what the downstairs portion looks like, and we're going to head down in a minute and take a closer look. The item that was of greatest interest in this year's car show were electric vehicles. The customers and people I talked to had a lot of questions about the range, charge time, and how much these vehicles cost.
In addition to talking to the sales rep and reading about the cars, there were opportunities for you to drive some of these electric cars, which is pretty cool. Never got a chance because the line was so long. It was again, I was there on a Sunday, so the line was out the door. But also what I thought was awfully cool was looking at all of these sports cars. A lot of them are for sale and some of them are not. The owners just want to come here and park them and show them off. And they're absolutely great eye candy, especially if you love cars because you can see they're all different shapes and sizes. So if you really enjoy cars or just like looking at beautiful vehicles, you're going to enjoy coming to the car show. And also this year they had electric bikes and it was awesome because it was my first time riding one. I come to the car show every single year. If you've ever been here before, I would love for you to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your experience has been like. If you thought the information I provided was helpful or useful, please show your support by liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your time and thank you so much for watching my video.